What have you done to the marriage? I put it on hold. Why? Because it's powerful. What have you done to her family? I put them against her. So you did not join the strike. Just a distress. Because she wants to. She wants to. She wants to serve your God. Oh, you don't want her to serve my God? No. Why? Because she's going to deliver. Oh, you don't want her to be delivered? No. You don't want her to be delivered? No. You have made the greatest mistake for allowing him her uh, in here. Now you're going. Say in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Lose your grip. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Мы благодарны Богу за это чудесное освобождение. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ for this amazing deliverance, and also help me to welcome Norma and her husband to the front. So tell us what your name and who is the man next to you, and where are you guys from? Um, my name is Norma Lacy. This is my husband. We're from Chico, California, Faith Temple. And Norma, what were the things that you were having in your life that you came here to this conference to be prayed over by Apostle John Chi? Um, we came to the conference because we knew there was something going on in our life. Um, we felt stagnant. I've been suffering with infertility for the last 13 years, um, multiple miscarriages. Um, I went through two abortions when I was not saved. And um, I just feel we've been feeling that stagnation. It's like we move up and go back and back and forth, back and forth. So we knew that was not of God. So we wanted deliverance. What happened to you um, last night? It was kind of shocking. I was just looking at it like, well, um, actually it started happening before last night. Um, when they were having the mass prayer the day before, I was telling my husband I was feeling like a lot of pain. Um, my stomach was really, like, felt really bloated. I, I couldn't even eat after we left. Um, but when they were having mass prayer, I, I just felt, like, manifesting. And, like, I couldn't stand the pain. I wanted to run out. And before I knew it, I was at the altar. And I felt a lot of things came off. But I was telling my husband, I was like, there's still something there. I can feel something in my stomach. Um, it's started especially when there was a deliverance happening. It was a lady, she was wearing glasses, and um, Apostle was saying something about a snake spirit. And when that was happening, it just started getting stronger. Um, and so that night before, it started manifesting. And so I was telling God, I was like, God, take everything out. I don't want nothing. Do not let me leave here the same way that I came. And um, that day that it was time for my prayer, when we were approaching, um, the closer we were getting to the stage, I felt like a warmth, like it was like a wave, like I was like, well, anointing, and um, I was getting weaker, and then when we got up to the, the, the front of the prayer line, it was like really hot, it was like a wave, and it was just like, I was getting really weird, um, like really weak, and like it start, I can feel it starting manifesting in my body. As you were being prayed over at the prayer line, um, an evil spirit was manifested to you. He mentioned a few things that it was a curse, that the marriage is on hold and a career. Can you confirm what is going on in that area? Um, like I said, um, we've been trying to have a baby for the last 13 years. Um, I'm tired of taking pregnancy tests because they always come out negative. Um, like I said, 15 years ago, I mean... Yeah, 15 years ago, before I was saved, um, I had an abortion. And I um, can't remember anything, but I could remember that the pulling of life, it was sucked out of me. When that machine sucked 
the baby out. It sucked my life. And I just spiraled into a um, cattle pool of destruction, hit rock bottom, found Jesus, and gave my life to him and restoration. But there was still something there. There was something there. Can you um, tell him what happened when he was, after he was finished praying for you, what did you feel in your body? Um, I, I felt like it did not want to leave. Or like, I felt like something really, really strong did not want to leave. But then like, um, when it felt like it left, like a relief, like I felt something like going up my legs, like something like life. I felt life back in my wound and I feel free. As a husband, can you confirm a few things that were happening in you guys' marriage? Yes. For one, um, every time me and my wife want to get intimate, it was always something trying to stop us from getting intimate. We know, like, women go through different cycles, and um, it was time for her to be fertile. And every time we want to check her fertility or try to get intimate, it wouldn't allow us to be able to do it or retire or we get into little bits and bits argument. And... When it said that, I understood our marriage has been on hold. We have like seven children and four adopted and three of my own from a previous relationship when I was in sin. And me and my wife love each other dearly. And I know that's one thing that kept us together. But we knew it was something that was stopping us. Not just for me and my wife having children, but also in our walk with, with the Lord, becoming more spiritual connection. I know intimacy with me and my wife is intimacy. So we wanted to see intimate to each other, not just sexually, but also prayer and getting into the Word of God. And those things were stagnant in both areas. And I believe and I know without a shadow of a doubt that my wife is healed, delivered. That means that she's healed and delivered. I'm healed and delivered as well as my children as well. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Now that you have been set free and healed, what is your advice for people that you want to share this morning? Believe. Um, if you were like me or I don't know what your situation is, 15 years ago, what the enemy meant for my bad in sin in my salvation, Jesus Christ turned it around for my good, and he confirmed it last night. Jesus is real. Do not lose hope. Pray. God loves you. He forgave you. And your mess, he will make your testimony.